Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, title of this video is a Challenge to Christians. Okay, prove that the Bible is real. Okay, and um, I'm going to get this scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. Prove all things, okay? Now, let's see what this word right here for prove is, okay? Um, play the, the Greek. Strong's G, 1381, Dakimadzo, Dakimadzo. Okay, and it means... Uh, to test, examine, prove, scrutinize, to see whether a thing is genuine or not, is metals. To recognize is genuine after examination, to approve or deem worthy. Okay? Also, uh, to discern. Okay? Uh, which that goes into, um, having proper judgment. Okay? So the Bible says... Prove all things. So if you believe in the Bible, you're supposed to be able to prove it. Prove that it's the truth. Okay, it says, hold fast that which is good. Okay, unto the things that are the truth. Okay, now, uh, the thing is, a lot of uh, people who came to be uh, Christians, okay, the, the, the Christian church is not beginner friendly okay more often than not a lot of people <clears throat> that that are in the um the the, the christian church y'all are doing that because that is what was taught to you okay from a child on up okay and basically you just follow the tradition okay that was handed down to you okay and in, in, in the word tradition, it means the transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation or the fact of being passed on in this way. Okay? It says uh, in the, 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 theology, a doctrine believed to have divine authority, though not in the scriptures in particular. Okay? And a, and a lot of, it's a lot of doctrines out here in this world that, you know, a lot of, and, and traditions that people are, are following, okay, but it's not in the scriptures, okay? So, prove that the Bible is real, okay? Once again, the scripture says, prove all things. So, if you follow a certain holiday, prove it, okay? Prove that it's in the scriptures, okay? Now, um, continuing on. It says the word believe, right? Which a lot of people believe that the Bible was true, right? It says what the first definition is accept something is true, right? Which all that's what y'all do, or feel sore of the truth, right? But then it's another one that says hold something as an opinion. Think or suppose. Okay? Now when you go into the word suppose. It means to assume that something is the case on the basis of evidence or probability, but without proof or certain knowledge, okay? So basically, you can't, when it comes down to these scriptures, you can't assume that the Bible is the truth, okay? Without proving it, okay? You have to be able to prove it, okay? Um, so, so a lot of people who, who claim to believe in the Bible, okay, which they're just holding it as an opinion, okay, and they have this mindset that, oh, we're, you know, the Bible is basically just an opinion, and that other people who do, um, uh, follow the scriptures, okay, or, or, or don't follow the scriptures, that's their opinion, and they have a, every right to believe that. Okay, well, prove that. Okay, but the, the, the thought of this, this lesson should be 
on proving that the Bible is not yet, I mean, in, in fact, of uh, an opinion, but it's actually a fact, okay? That's why, that's where the difference between believing and knowing comes into play. Now, the word know, okay, also knowledge, okay, is to be aware of through observation, inquiry, or information, okay? So once again, you in order to prove that the Bible is, is real, okay, you have to get some information, okay? Inquire, uh, study, uh, 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 question things, okay? Observe things, okay? It says, have developed a relationship with someone through meeting and spending time with them. Be familiar or friendly with them, okay? Now, once again, the Bible is, if you believe in the Bible, and you or, or, or whatever book you believe in, okay, prove that it's the truth, okay? Once again, it says a fact, okay? A thing that is indisputably the case, okay? Reality, actuality, okay? Actual existence typically is contrasted with what, it, what was intended, expected, or believed, okay? So actuality, okay, goes against belief, okay? Okay, yeah, you believe in that, but in actuality, this is what's going on right now, okay? This is real life, okay? This is the truth, okay? So if you want to believe that the Bible is the truth, okay, then you have to prove actuality, okay? And that's what we do at, 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 at Great Millstone. It says existing conditions or facts, okay? So it says, continuing on, certainty, okay? So you have to be certain, okay? And it also says gospel, okay? Um, used in discussing the significance of something that is the case, okay? So if you believe that the Bible is the truth, okay, and you're trying to prove all things, okay, you need to be able to, to, to use, uh, it says, used and discussing the significance of something. So prove that the Bible is the truth with facts, okay, and actuality, okay, a piece of information used as evidence or as part of a report or news article, okay, continuing on, second test. Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Right? Study. Okay? A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the work word of truth. Okay? You want to prove that the Bible is the truth. Okay? You have to prove it with actuality. Okay? Real life. Reality. Okay? And you also, um, like, like, a I prove America is in the scriptures, okay? Prove that, um, you know, African or, 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 or America is in the scriptures. Prove that black people or white people are in the Bible, okay? Prove those things. You have to be able to prove it, okay? 1 Corinthians 3 and 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as spiritual, but as unto carnal. Even as unto babes, and I'm going to say Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shah, okay? Even as unto babes and Christ, I have fed you with milk, okay, and not with meat. So when a person comes into this truth, right, or, or, or I was saying say the truth, but if a person that doesn't believe in the Bible, okay, and they want to learn the, 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 the how the Bible is the truth, okay, you first and foremost has to have to be somebody that that uh, is able to rightfully divide the word of truth and to actually show show them, okay, that the Bible is the truth, okay. Because a person who 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 doesn't know much of anything, okay, they're gonna be confused if you're going going to some extremely deep um, um, parts of 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 nothing. Okay, and you just believe that this is, this is the truth. God loves everybody. Well, in actuality, what a lot of people are getting destroyed, a lot of people are getting killed. So, prove that God loves everybody with the scriptures. 
Okay, so prove that the Bible is the is the truth. Okay, if you are a Christian. Okay, for hitherto you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are you able. Okay, so a person that that is is trying to find out the truth. Okay, tell them or or, or show them. Okay, that that is the truth, or, or prove that the Bible is the truth. Okay. Once again, churches are not beginner friendly at all. Okay, so prove that the Bible is the truth. Okay, once again, the scripture says prove all things. Okay, and hold fast that which is good. So with that, I want to say Salawam.